Hi guys, Rich here, Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We are taking a look at this 1973 Oldsmobile 98. Uh, <clears throat> we have a request. We probably would have done it anyways, but we have a request to take a look at the underside of this vehicle. This vehicle's uh, 14,000 some change actual miles. Um, <clears throat> I think the story plays pretty well based on the underside of the car. Uh, Let's see, I'll do a quick walk around here. This is probably a really good place to, a really good way to be able to find like paintwork or anything like that on a, on an old car. This would probably be an area if you were a painter where, quite frankly, you would uh, maybe cut, cut a few corners here and there. Uh, everything looks very nice. Just got some maybe crud here, a little peppering here. You can kind of see, see that little peppering there. Very, uh, very discreet unless you're at this angle right here. Uh, looks like we got, this might be a little, maybe corner bumped into something, cause a little crease right here. All this looks real nice. This looks like it hasn't really been cleaned off all the way. <clears throat> Chrome's very nice. Appears to be original. The skirts are in great shape. Yeah, really really kind of boring just some kind of like I said some this might be just kind of crud the car might need a little detail so all right so let's get underneath this thing first we'll look in the wheel wells here as you can see this is uh, very tidy looks dry I don't see anything that's concerning we'll kind of pop pop our head outside and look at the other wheel well too. Um, in case I'm making anybody motion sick here, I'm at the front of the car facing backwards. I'm on the passenger side right now looking at the all the suspension components, steering components, all that stuff. I mean, just looks original to me. Yeah, you know, kind of, kind of boring. We're gonna walk down the driver's side, okay? And then we'll kind of poke our head outside the car and um, and probably uh, look at the frame from the outside and we'll look at those wheel wells while we're at it too. We'll take a look at them up here, I guess too. This is a driver's front wheel well. This would be like, you know, if I was looking for rust, I mean, this is where I think you'd find it, but it looks really, really dry. I mean, really nice. Really nice. This is all just, you know, surface, just surface crud. This is still like factory paint. It's just kind of coming off. Maybe a little bitty brake line drip at one time. Yeah, I think this is where we can see, um, remember I said the car was undercoated? That's what this stuff is here, like this darker color, like this tarry. It's not tarry, okay? It's very, very clean, but you can see how nice and how well it it preserved this thing. Little cobweb there. Yeah, really, really nice. Wow. So what I'll do is I'm going to keep going down this driver's side. Look at how dry this is back in here. I mean, I I have not I've not found one one weak spot yet, one soft spot. So I'm going to head down the driver's side. I'm going to keep going down this way. <clears throat> 
excuse me. Keep heading down this way and then we'll, uh, I'll kind of come back up the middle, up, up kind of the middle of the, the car so we can look at the floor. I am really am extremely impressed with this. Look at this. Oof. It looks like a new car. If I told you this was two years old, you'd believe it. Very nice. Excuse us here. Head, head back down this way. Looking at the floor. Walking, walking towards the front of the car here. You got a little, a oh, little drip from the trans pan, maybe a little drip from the oil pan. Probably up here, maybe one of the valve covers leaking. Maybe one of the valve covers leaking up here and just kind of running down the engine. That's no, not, I mean, that certainly shouldn't be the deciding factor whether or not you want a rust-free car with 14,000 real miles on it. We're going to walk back down the center kind of passenger side. Right, we'll do this. We'll do the, let's do this. <clears throat> let's, let's go down the passenger side. Uh, frame and then we'll kind of look at the floor here look at this I mean this stuff just looks like new up in there the frame looks like it's I mean it's just very very nice really tidy facing the rear of the car now okay I don't want to make anybody lose their bearings here Wow. Gosh. Yeah, it's nothing. Just a little corrosion, that's all. Nothing. I would assume this is this is new. I mean, you would expect this to, but it sure, gosh, it doesn't I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you know, this is probably a new muffler. Same exhaust, maybe new muffler. But even the exhaust is in great shape. I mean, look at like, these body mounts and stuff. I mean, just, just killer. I mean, really nice. Yeah, I think, I don't think anybody's gonna dispute the originality of this vehicle. And the mileage. Really nice piece. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at this. You know, bone dry. I mean, it's pretty, it's very uncommon these days to see this kind of stuff. Very uncommon. <clears throat> Real nice. There's cobwebs on it. I mean, the frame doesn't have any scale on it. Nothing. So well preserved. Huh. Yeah, it's not really. <coughs> Excuse me. Not much to talk about with this car. Sorry about the light here. The light's kind of... Yeah, this is... Um... I This is, uh, quite honestly, I mean, you could go... You know, if this, if this was the car for you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and guess that this is probably the most well-preserved 
example for sale anywhere in the country, world, anywhere. I mean, it's like a new car. Really, really nice. Let's look at the rear end here real quick. Mm, you know. Okay, I'm going to turn around. This is the front of the car. I'm going to turn around to the rear here and see what's what. Yeah, you know, it's a little wet, but again, you know, a couple, a couple uh, seals or gaskets compared to the cost of a rust repair is peanuts. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do, guys, is uh, <clears throat> like all of our videos, you get the uh, the magic of unediting so <clears throat> let, me dump, let me dump this thing on the ground real quick and gosh I know everybody let me get this thing on the ground have to excuse me I think I'd learn how to work this camera better. <clears throat> okay. So give me a second. We're gonna get it on the ground so we don't have to cut. So we don't have to cut and make another video. We're just gonna get it on the ground and then uh, and then we'll give her a start real quick. Okay, this is a cold start. That way nobody knows I'm everybody knows I'm not messing around here. <clears throat> Boom. Very nice. Uh let's see. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Whoops. Doesn't get much better than that. Everything's working like it should. Uh, let's go to each window to their own position. Yep, every window to its own position is working. This is just, uh, actually this is our little workshop here, so kind of a night and day difference from uh, the showroom. I mean, every window's working from its own position. Oops. Door locks. Okay. Pretty boring. Okay, uh, let's see here. Headlights working. <clears throat> we can go through the turn signals and all that other stuff. 
for a prospective buyer if they'd like to see it. But antenna up. Where you at? There you go. She going up. Now down. Going down just like she's supposed to. Pretty boring, guys. Radio works. Mm. Well, we usually disconnect the battery on this car, so the clock could be a little up in the air. Let's see, air conditioning, whoops. You know, I mean, it's cold in Indiana right now. Even in this building, it's kind of cool. Let's, so, I mean, this is cold. Um... It's cold. I'm not going to say a recharge isn't in order, but... I mean, it's definitely cold right now, so... We can look into it a little bit further if somebody would like. Jeez, um, guys. I mean... This is like a new car. All right. Thanks again for checking it out. Rich at the Collector Car Gallery with the uh, underside of this 1973 Oldsmobile 98. What a really, really nice rust-free vehicle this is. And um, a little function testing and cold start also. So... Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Give us a holler if you have any questions. Thanks.